In this video, I'm going to show you a practical demo of how to use um, Factor.io or how to program the scenario in Factor.io using Connected Components Workbench software. I'm going to use the Simulator PLC in order to develop a lot of logic program to control this conveyor belt. Um, I did go through an overview of the um, Connected Components and Workbench software if you want to take a look at it. Um, it's one of the previous videos in this channel. And I also gave you an overview of Factor.io software in the channel as well if you want to take a look um, before this demo. Now what you see on the screen in Factor.io software is one of the pre-built uh, scenes provided by Factor.io. So if you go to file, then open, it is the very first scene, um, scene number one from A to B. Um, so for this demo, for this video, um, my main goal is to teach you how to connect the two softwares. Um, I'm planning to do another um, a demo later on using one of the kind of their advanced um, applications. But for now, um, I thought I would give you a kind of a simple example to um, get you familiar with the two software. All right, so the very first thing I personally do when I select a scene um, is literally try to understand it. Um, so in this one, I know that I have a conveyor and I have a sensor. Now, I did tell you in the previous video that um, these, the two tabs, in the tabs here, uh, the two parts, if you select on the actuator tags, you're able to see the outputs, the actuator. If you select on the sensor tag, um, you're able to see what are the sensors or inputs in this scene. So I know that in this um, scene, I have a conveyor as an output and I have a sensor as an input. So what I also do is I zoom in, uh, try to understand or try to get an, um, a better uh, idea of what type of sensor is um, the one that we're currently having in this scene. So we have this sensor and what I do and what I advise you to do is to go back to Factor.io website, um, the resources manual, sensors, and then scroll down trying to find what type of sensors do you have in the scene. So based on the look of the sensor, and I also have a reflector on the other side, it looks like we have a retro reflector sensor and a reflector. One of the reasons why I always go back to their documentation um, is first to understand about the sensor itself and I'm also interested in the type of the sensor. Um, the data type, is it boolean, um, is it normally open, normally closed, etc. So I know that this one is a boolean type, so I need this to understand the, um, I mean I need this when I do the ladder logic program. All right, so now I have a little bit of idea of what is inside the scene. What I also do is I go to file and then I go to drivers and then I have a look at the sensors and the actuators. And since I'll be using Micro 800 Simulator PLC, so I'm going to select that PLC in Factor.io software. So from the drop down menu uh, of the drivers, go ahead and select Ellen Bradley Micro 800. So what you see here is the layout for the inputs and outputs for this specific scene. So this is pretty straightforward. I have two inputs, sensor and factor IO running. Um, I'll show you this input in a bit. And for the outputs, I have only a conveyor. And this, the address you see here is the address for these specific inputs and outputs. So for the sensor, I have Boolean in zero. For the conveyor, I have Boolean out zero. For the factor IO running, Boolean in one. Basically, the factor IO running, if you go back to the scene, is when we click here, when we put factor IO software in the run mode. Sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. It depends on the application or what I'm teaching um, students at specific time. 
All right, so I'll go back to drivers. Now, what I need to do is I need to tell Factor Air Software what PLC I'm using and then add the IP address of the PLC I'm using. So currently, I'm going to use Micro 800 Simulator PLC from Connected Components, and this is the IP address that I need to put in here. So go back to Factor IO, I go to Configuration, and then under Host, I need to add the IP address of the Simulator PLC. In my case, it is 192.168.150. All right, so once you add that here, you go back and then you see the IP address over here. Perfect. Now, the second thing that I need to do now is I need to add the inputs and outputs in connected components workbench software. So to do that, you go back to the software, you click on the controller variables, you scroll down, and then you are going to add a new tag or a new variable inside Connected Components Workbench software. First tag that I'm going to add, or the first address, is boolean in zero, and this is for the sensor. So you type that here, boolean in, and then zero. And this is a sensor. And the type is boolean so you hit enter now I need to add the other address or the other tag which is the conveyor this one over here so it's a boolean out zero and this is the conveyor all right um, I can also go ahead and add the other input, which is factor IO running, uh, boolean input 1. Now I have all the three um, addresses in Connected Components Workbench software. So the next step is to go to the program, and then here where I develop the ladder logic program. Um, I want to write a program that once we click on play, once we activate um, factor IO scene, and then I click on, for example, this input here in the simulator PLC as an input um, or a start push button, I want the conveyor to start and then I want the conveyor to stop once it reaches the sensor. So the very first thing is I need to know the address of the push button that I'm using as a start. Going back to the simulator PLC, um, so this is the first one and this is the address for the um, push button. So go ahead and grab um, examine if um, close or XIC and then from the um, uh, variable selector, go here and then select micro 850 and then scroll down until you find the address for the input, which is the first one, double click, and then you have it here. So once I click on this, I want to activate the conveyor. So the conveyor is an output, drag it here. And then again, from the drop down menu, select micro 850. And then this time, the conveyor is the address that I added from factor IO, which is boolean out zero, double click in here. All right. So now, once I click on this, the conveyor starts. Now, in order to keep the conveyor moving, I'm going to use this branch here, and then I'm going to use XIC instruction, and I will use the same address as the conveyor. Now, the last thing that I want is I want the conveyor to stop once it reaches this sensor here. At the very end, we want the box to stay on the conveyor. Now, retro reflector sensors um, usually act as normally um, closed um, uh, uh, connectors. Um, so it's always active. Uh, whenever there is an object that goes through the um, sensor, this is when the sensor is off. 
um, I will uh, post um, a video explaining retroreflective sensors in details. Um, but that's what we need to know when we do the ladder logic program. So for that, I'm going to select an XIC instruction and place it here. And then go again, select Micro 850, scroll down. And this time, I'm going to choose the um, address or the tag for the sensor. All right, so now I have um, the Ladder Logic program finish. If you want to learn more about Ladder Logic programming or you need a refresher on um, how to put um, the instructions, um, I do have uh, two courses on LinkedIn Learning. Um, they are part of Become a PLC Developer. Um, the first one is learning PLC ladder logic, um, the basics, and the other one is uh, diving deep, deeper. And literally these two courses, especially the first one, it starts from scratch. So if you um, want to learn more about ladder logic programming, uh, please check that out. I'll leave the link in the description box below. I do have other courses that are a little bit more advanced, but um, if you want to start, start with the, these, these two over here. All right, back to our program. So I need now to save the program and then download that into our simulator PLC. And then we need to make sure, or I need to make sure that the power is on of the PLC. Then you go here, you click on connect and you download the ladder logic program into the PLC very similar to what would you do if this is a real PLC. You need to download the program into the device. So you click on download current project to the controller. Then you click on download. All right, once you see this window, that means the program have, has been downloaded into the simulator PLC. Now the next step is I need to uh, go to file and connect the scene to the simulator PLC. So file drivers, and then click on connect. All right, once you see the check mark here, there is no errors. That means we have successfully connected factor software to connected components, workbench software, simulator PLC. All right, go back to the scene. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put both um, hopefully in the same window so you can see um, the program working. All right, so here's our simulator PLC. Uh, the first step is we need to make sure that it is on the run mode. So click on run, then go here and click on the run mode for factory IO. All right, I need to grab back the simulator PLC over here. So according to our program, once I click on this input, the conveyor should start and then stops when it reaches this sensor. Let's see that. Perfect. It worked according to our program. So now you have successfully connected the two software and it's actually working according to our program. Um, I want to show you how it looks like uh, when you actually see the um, the ladder logic program. So I'll go ahead here and then I click on, I switch it to the edit mode here. All right, so I think this is good enough that you can see both um, on the same window. So here I have the ladder logic program and here I have the scene from Factory IO. And as you can see that um, this one acts as normal closed contact. It's already on even the sensor is already on uh, when you start. I'll grab back the simulator PLC. And then we are going to see the program working. So again, click on run, hit OK. And then I have to activate the factor at all. And then once I click on this address, which is the input uh, push button or switch, you see it working. Once this one, um, once the box reaches this sensor, the conveyor stops. Awesome. Now, um, this is the demo that I want to show for this video. 
for the next demo i might uh, show you more advanced application um, so i'm thinking to choose one of the scenes in factor io so one of the uh, ones here um, i haven't decided yet which one to cover but i'm trying to cover uh, the scenes that I did not cover in my LinkedIn uh, learning course. Um, in my LinkedIn learning course, I go through four scenes, four projects with the solution. So you can find the solution there. Um, I start from simple projects to more advanced. Um, I cover conveyor builds, I cover filling a water tank um, and solution. And then finally, I show you sorting by height. Um, I'll see if I can show you a demo of the uh, project, the final project. So this is just a demo of the final project that I cover in this course, which is sorting by height. Um, so I'm thinking of, since you have four projects already in the course, you can check the course. Um, I might pick another scene um, um, to show you that in the um, YouTube. Um, the only thing is that it might take long for to develop the ladder logic program. So I might just go through it quickly, assuming that you have a background in the ladder logic program, but you um, by all means, let me know if we, you want more step-by-step um, -step to develop the ladder logic program. I'll leave the link to this course in the description box um, below this video. It's called uh, PLC Simulation Software Factor IO with Connected Components Workbench Software. And apparently there are 200 people who are actually watching the video. So um, <laughs> I thought I'd just say that. So I hope that this video gave you a glimpse of the how to use the two software in a very simple project, um, this conveyor belt with one sensor. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.